All right, hi everyone. This is for DAS 135. It's dental radiology. Uh, we are going to be doing a couple of videos today. This first one is going to be on the control panel uh, on the radiographic instrument here. Uh, so you can see this is a Gendex brand. Um, you'll, you'll come across many different brands, but uh, all of them look very similar. Um, but the purpose is uh, to actually take x-rays. So this one's pretty generic, pretty straightforward. Uh, the only way we operate this one is there's an on and off switch. You turn it on. Uh, you'll see that the only kind of light up panel here is just this number right here uh, and it's it's uh, the uh, the amount of uh, exposure time so this is exposure time in kvs uh, right here right tells you how much kilovoltage as well as the milliamperage is already preset 7 ma's to 70 kvps uh, you can adjust it here with the up or down button um, but basically it's it's emitting how many pulses are being exposed within this time at this setting here um, so that's going to increase your uh, density or your uh, increasing your density or decreasing your density, however dark you want your film to be based on uh, the need of the patient and based on the need of the uh, operator who's taking the x-ray. Uh, so that's the control panel. Uh, the other thing I want to make sure that we know our components here. So you have your control panel here, your on and off switch. All right, this piece right here is your extension arm. All right, and it goes out. I'm going to go ahead and move it so you can see how that works. All right, as you can see, it extends out, it goes up and down. One thing I do want to point out to you, this one's kind of squeaky, but one thing I want to point out to you is that you should be able to, on a well-working machine, you should be able to position it in any place and it not move. All right, you can see how that one kind of dropped just a little bit. We probably need to tighten it a little bit more, uh, but you should be able to bring it to your patient and it stay directly in position. If you notice it falling or, or drifting, uh, that's the term you need to know, drifting. Uh, you need to contact your maintenance company and get them to come out and tighten your equipment. All right, so you have your control panel, your extension arm, all right? And then this right here is the tube head, all right? And if you remember from your components of the tube head, you'll know that this is where your cathode and anode is located, along with this piece right here. All right, this is that four inch piece right here. This is the PID, position indicator device, often called your comb. All right, so you can call it your cone, your position indicator device, uh, PID, either one, it all means the same thing. Just make sure you know how to differentiate uh, should you see either one of those uh, uh, terms, okay? Uh, but other than that, guys, that, that concludes uh, the control panel segment. Um, once again, control panel, um, remember that's where your KV uh, and your milliamperage is, uh, is uh, preset or set. Again, this one's a very basic one. It's already set for you. Okay?